let's explore five of the central themes in Hamlet. First, mortality acts as the central theme in Hamlet, which is why Hamlet contemplating Yorick's skull is so iconic. Mortality begins with the ghost, the contemplations of suicide, the grave, and Ophelia's funeral. What does Shakespeare say about mortality in this play? Primarily, he explores the concept as part of the cycle of life from both religious and secular perspectives. Second is truth versus deception, also expressed as reality versus appearance. This is prevalent in Hamlet and plays out in major ways, such as the deceitful way in which Claudius comes to power in the first place, as well as in smaller ways, like Polonius's willingness to spread terrible rumors about Laertes to investigate his own son's behavior. The play presents many characters who thrive on deceit and the situations that evolve out of it. Every scene and act contains examples of truth versus deceit. The presence of the ghost as a witness to the truth or as a figment of Hamlet's imagination. The presence of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern and their true spy mission in Elsinore. And finally, Hamlet putting on an antic disposition. Thought versus action is very significant in this play, as a life of action is a theme woven throughout Hamlet. Although Hamlet himself seems like a man of thought through much of the play, by the end, he finds the balance between the two. This suggests that Shakespeare's final idea on the topic is that the best approach to life strikes a balance between thought and action. From the outset, both Laertes and Fortinbras are foils for Hamlet. While Hamlet is depicted as a man of thought, the other two are depicted as men of action. In terms of madness, one could argue that Hamlet, Ophelia, and perhaps even Claudius have gone mad over the course of the play, which goes hand in hand with truth versus deception, because the audience doesn't know if Hamlet has actually gone mad or if it is feigned. Finally, revenge, the catalyst to many of the events in the play. Several of the main characters seek revenge, such as the ghost, Fortinbras, Laertes, and Hamlet. Ultimately, with the tragic carnage at the end of the play, Shakespeare could be making a case for the uselessness of revenge, but that could also be a 21st century viewpoint overlaid on a 17th century drama.